How you guys doing, YouTube? Uh, I guess you could consider this episode uh, 22 for the Farm All M. Basically, I haven't been doing a whole lot. It's just been lazy working, but lazy. <laughs> so, today I figured since I had a couple days off, I would, uh, I would get this head pulled off. And uh, I did that. So I'll give you guys just a look, see it, at what we've got going on. It doesn't look like we have any head gasket leaks, which is good. The cylinder walls still look really good. So that's good. The top of the number four piston, this is the one that was having the issues with the valve seat dropping out. Top of that one looks good yet. So that's good. We didn't, uh, we didn't run the the piston into the valve or the valve seat. Uh, I've already got the the head loaded into the trunk but I will uh, when I unload this everything when I get home I'll show you guys uh, the issue that I'm having but anyways this is kind of where we're sitting I've been looking for heads on on Craigslist and some local salvage yards as well as uh, on eBay and I haven't really found any that were in my price range that I am willing to pay um, but I guess I'll just have to save the money to get uh, to get a good head because right now it's it is what it is I mean I've got oh probably seven hundred dollars into this head now at least Plus the cost of the new valves, and uh, it's not doing me a whole lot of good when it isn't sealing on one of the valves and when the valve seat keeps dropping out. So, basically, what I'm going to do now is cover this thing up with plastic, and it's going to sit until until I can afford to get another head, and then that's going to go to the machine shop, and uh, they're going to take all the valves out of the old head and check the new head over and uh, we'll go from there but hopefully I can get that done before winter I mean it's already the 25th or 26th of September so another month yet and the snow is going to be flying but we'll see I don't know I'm not real confident on getting this thing back together before the snow flies but if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. And uh, I apologize if it's kind of windy here. It's uh, we got a brisk northwest wind, so it's that time of year when everything starts getting colder, getting windier, and next thing we know, the snow will be flying. So let's. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, cover the motor with plastic I bought from the hardware store and then uh, I'll lower the the loader down and run a strap around the pedestal and the loader so that we can move this thing so it's not in my my buddy's driveway here again all winter so we'll probably move it with his B and put it somewhere but anyways let me uh, pause the video here while I grab the plastic Well, we're working on it here, I'm trying to get this thing wrapped up so it's nice and fairly watertight. So basically, I just want to keep water out of the motor, you know.
All right. That should get us by for well, a little while, anyways. So I'm gonna take this off, and this is where we're sitting. So everything's wrapped up. I got the loader supported by the ratchet strap, and. It is what it is for now, but uh, I'll get everything loaded up or unloaded when I get home and give you guys a quick look underneath this, the cylinder head so you can see that. And Other than that, there ain't much going on in, in the good old shop, so that's all I've got for now. I'll do a quick recap when we get home. And That'll be it, all right? All right, guys, so here it is. Here's the issue. You can see the valve seat on number four exhaust is obviously out. All the other ones seem to be doing okay. So, no complaining there, but that doesn't help us because the machine shop can't seem to get this valve seat to stay in. So, it is what it is. And I believe what the issue they're having is this recession where the valve seat is pressed into is cracked going around it, so with the recession. And what happens is they push in, press in a larger oversized seat, the cylinder head warms up, and then that crack expands, dropping the seat out. So. I guess for now we're going to have to be stuck with uh, getting ourselves another head. So that's what I'm going to do. But until, uh, until we get that, I really don't have a whole lot going on. So I know I got to clean the tank out on that case, but uh, that's really about all I got. I was going to see if my buddy would let me keep this John Deere over at his place too just to uh, see if I can get some more room but I don't want to be a burden on him so we'll, uh, we'll see. But until next time, appreciate you guys watching. I'm sorry we don't really have much for, for updates but uh, stay tuned alright. Hopefully we get some good news on ahead and we can get this thing back together. Alright, take care.